Right, guys, so we're going to get started now. What we'll need today, we've got a towel, which we're going to use in um, part B of the workout today, along with a couple of water bottles. You can use food tins, any household items that you've got. I usually get the tonic bottles, um, my go-to, not alcoholic or anything, I promise. But it is, um, it, it doesn't really matter what you use, as long as it's got some weight behind it. We'll grab them now before we get started. We're not going to use these until we get to the second part of the workout. So if, you, if you're short on time, then by all means, you can do that after. So, towel, household items, that's what we'll need for the second part. For the first part, it's all lower body. We're going to be using tempo to get through it. It is a strength, sorry, it is a bodybuilding session today. So the, the outcome that we want is to break down the muscle fibers, under keeping the muscles under tension as we go. We can either do that by slowing the movements down or by adding resistance, i.e. weight. We'll go through that in a second. Let's get warmed up first. So quick warm up, we're gonna try and hit that full body. We're gonna start with some side lunges, some lateral movement. We're gonna do six on one side, followed by six on the other side. Driving off this foot here, back to the start. When we're going to the next one, it's reverse lunge kicking off that back foot each time. Okay, from the side, if you notice, I'm driving off the back foot, I'm not just relying on that front leg. After you've done 12 of those, we're going for 12 air squats, which is your standard body weight squat. You've done these, we're going to go onto the floor. A few more movements. First one we're going to do is a bird dog. It's a good core exercise, but also we're trying to hit the glutes and the shoulders. So you should feel that on the back of the shoulder. As you bring it forward, tension through the glutes and especially the midline. Okay, after you've done 12 of those, the next one we're gonna do is a set of eight scaled push-ups. So if you'd normally do them on your toes, the push-ups, then you're gonna do them on your knees this time. If you would normally do them on your knees, then we'll use a bench or something to get some leverage. Make it that little bit easier because it is just a warm up. So, eight of those. After that, we're going to go onto the back. We're going to do a glute bridge for eight reps. You're trying to really push the hips up, squeezing glutes at the top. Then we're going to go alternating leg raise. Six on each leg. Try and keep the lower back flat on this one. If you find it really difficult, start with the feet a bit higher, like that. And then the last one to really get the heart rate up, we're going to do eight burpees. So not only are we getting the heart rate up, warming up the chest and the shoulders, ready for the workout for today. So eight reps, and then that's the warm up done. Once you get through them guys, grab yourself a quick drink and then we'll go into the brief 
of the main workout. Okay guys, so we've got two parts to the bodybuilding class today. What we're gonna do is demonstrate all the movements first as we've got a lower body, then we've only got a one minute rest before we get into the upper body. So I will recap the, the upper body session before we start, but just so we can get a more in-depth demonstration, I'll cover everything now. So that minute rest can actually be used as rest and you're not trying to run around and get everything prepared. Okay, so upper, uh, lower body first. We've got three movements. The two, two of them are tempo movements. One of them is not. Let's go through the one that is not first. This one is a marching glute bridge. So we're just in a glute bridge there. This is a little different, but we're in the same start position. Once we get down there, hips up high, you try to keep them there and then march the legs, bringing the knees towards the chest. What we're not trying to do is let the hips sink and the back arch. You try to keep that nice neutral spine with the hips up, glutes engaged throughout and then alternate legs. We're gonna do that between 30 and 40 seconds, which is gonna be the theme throughout. Okay, one down. Next one, we're gonna do tempo lunges. What we're gonna do, take that step forward, try and hold, try and go down for three seconds, one second at the bottom, and same again, three, one second at the bottom. So as you step forward, try not wobble, really control down, and then you've got that second pause at the very bottom. Okay, forward lunges we're gonna do on this one, just don't rush the movement from the side, from the, the front. That's the kind of tempo we're going for. If you really want to increase difficulty, then the weights, the makeshift weight, we'll use these, pop one in each hand, that's gonna make it a little bit more difficult. So that's two movements. We're gonna do another movement, which is, pause, squat, jump. So this is a tough one. Same tempo, three seconds down, one second pause and jump. And we're gonna keep that going 30 to 40 seconds. And that's three movements and we're gonna do this three times. So nine minutes work on the lower body. Then we've got a minute rest and then we're gonna get into the upper body session. Starting with a movement with the towel. So this is an isometric movement. So I'm gonna try and get some tension on there. Then what, we're, what we mean by isometric is we're gonna bring it up and you're gonna really squeeze. So what all I'm doing there is pulling the, t the towel apart, bringing it up, squeezing the biceps. So squeeze in there as much as we can. Hold that for 10 seconds. Then I'm gonna grab couple of household items and then we're going to try and get 10 of these in but again we're going to cap it at about 30 to 40 seconds we don't want to be going any longer than that so if if you if you don't get 10 in that's absolutely fine that's the first one second one tempo push-ups on this one what we're going to do either on the toes or on the knees Whichever one you do, I'm just going to control it down. Try and go three seconds and three seconds up. Whichever variation we're doing. The last one, same format, but we're going for dips. Three seconds down, three seconds up. With this one, depending on where you put your feet, that determines the difficulty. Okay, 
bringing the feet in makes that that, that bit harder, that bit easier, sorry. Taking the feet out makes it that bit harder. Okay, so let's have a little breather before we get stuck in to that, that work. And we're ready to go. Okay, guys, so first one is the low body circuit. We've got nine minutes, that's three times through, 30 to 40 seconds on each exercise. Ten seconds, then we start. Remember the first one, we're going the marching glute bridge. And off we go. So we try and keep that straight line with the body, neutral spine, hips high, and then we'll alternate the leg that we're marching. So predominantly we're targeting the glutes, the abs, and the whole core, so the back muscles, all going to play a part on this one. The main thing is that we just keep alternating without dropping the hips. Okay, three, two, one, rest it. So that was the maximum. I'll give you the maximum, or I'll count down towards the maximum time each round, but if you need to cut it before then, that's fine. Anywhere between 30 to 40 seconds is good. Next one, tempo lunges. Three, two, one, off we go. Three seconds down, one second at the bottom, then we're back up. So count if you want to. Three, two, one, one, and up. Three, two, one, one, and up. Three, two, one, one, and up. 10 seconds left. See if we can get one more in. Control down, and then back up, and then rest there. So, two movements down. We've still got the squat jumps next. Again, we're counting down for three seconds, one second up. Three, two, one. Here we go. So three, two, one. One second there, and then up. Three, two, one, one, and up. Ten seconds to go. Nice guys. See if we can get one more in quick. Well done. So a big explosive jump every time on that one. Right, so one round complete, we're back to the start, marching and glute bridge. Three, two, one, let's go. Alternate, keeping them hips high. Keep it going, guys. And last couple of seconds. And take a breather there. So that's your 40 seconds. Let's get ready for the lunges. If we want to use anything, we'll grab them now. Depends on how you found the last set. If they were really tough, you don't need these. If you think you can step it up a little bit, then grab something to hold on to. Three, two, one, off we go. 
and they're keeping that tempo. One second at the bottom, driving off the front leg on this one. So it doesn't have to be bottles that you're using. You can use anything to add a little extra weight. Right, we've got one more on the other side. Well done. Okay, back to the squat jumps. Again, don't rush the movement. You want a three second descent, one second pause, and a big, powerful jump. Three, two, one, here we go. Three seconds down, one second. So that's the kind of height we want to get. If you can go straight into that next rep, even better. The legs are going to be screaming after this one. Just power through. So I'll show one from the side, just to make sure we are sitting back into the squat. What they should be looking like, guys. Heels flat, below parallel if you can. Rest there. One round to go. We'll go back to that marching blue bridge, into the lunges, and then straight into the last one, which is the squat jump. Off we go. Take your time on these. It's not a one. You just want to go through the motions on. Think about each rep. Keeping the tension in the glutes. Maybe tucking that knee in. Working the abs to do so. The last couple of reps on each side. and rest it there. Excellent. We've got two movements left. Then we're gonna have a quick minute rest before we hit the upper body. So hopefully the legs have still got a little bit something left. We're going in three, two, one. Tempo lunges. Okay, don't do what I just done there. Let them feet get too narrow. So from the front, you don't want to be one in front of the one in front of the other. It wants to be a nice gap between left and the right. The wider your feet are, the more stable you'll feel. If you like that, then you're off balance from the start. One more after this. Don't rush three seconds down. One second, boom, back to the start. There you go, 15 seconds rest, and then we're gonna finish with a good set of squat jumps. Three, two, one, let's do it. Three seconds down, pause, and nice big jump. Gonna try and go straight into the next rep here. Give it a try. It's hard to do. Just means you get a little bit more out of the movement. Because the legs are staying under tension for most of the way. One more guys. And Brilliant. And that is a wrap for the lower body. So let's loosen them legs off, give them a quick shake. I'll quickly recap what we're doing next. So we've only got a minute from now. With your towel, pull it apart, 
bring it in. It's a 10 second bicep isometric hold. Pop that down straight into the rest of the 30 to 40 seconds curls. So we're aiming for about 10 reps. Then 30 to 40 seconds again, push ups. Three seconds down, three seconds up. Do that on your toes, on your knees, rest against the bench, whatever you need to do. And the last one, same tempo, but we're going on the bench. Three down, three up. Feet pushed out, difficult. Feet tucked in, a little easier. Cool. And if we're straight in, here we go. Let's do it, guys. 10 second hold. So that minute is coming around quick. Squeezing the biceps as much as we can. Three, two, one. Pop it down. And the biceps should be really feeling it from that last set. But now, trying to finish them off. With some good reps. So we've still got about 10 seconds. So you can get more in. Three, two, one, and down. Good work. So the biceps there, we really want to squeeze them throughout the movement. Try not rely on the forearms. Don't squeeze too tight. Just let the biceps do the work. Right, now we're into the push-ups. Three seconds down, three seconds up. Off we go. So we're not pausing at the top or the bottom on this one. It's three seconds down and up. Whether we're on the knees, we're still trying to get that full range. So we're going chest to the floor, and then at the top, full extension with the arms. If we're on a bench, then we're still doing that three seconds down, three seconds up. And call it in three, two, one, rest. Two movements down. Last one is the dips. If you remember, foot position determines difficulty. We're trying to get three seconds down, three seconds up, as we did in the push ups. Three, two, one, let's go. So we're controlling that down. You're not relaxing at the bottom, just going back to the top, keeping that tempo the same throughout. You can use a bench, a chair, sofa, whatever you like. Bringing them feet in makes it a lot easier because the legs come into it. We're not just relying on the triceps. Don't relax at the bottom. Just constantly moving, going again. We're resting in three, two, and one. Right, one round complete, guys. Two to go. Quick drink if you need it. Then we're back on the towel with the isometric hold straight in to the bicep curls. Here we go. So fast pace this one. Let's do it. 10 second hold. You're pulling this apart, squeezing the biceps. Tight as we can. Three, two, one. Pop it down. Then grab your makeshift weight. Squeeze at the end range, which is there. That's really where we want to put a lot of, a lot of emphasis on the bicep. After the isometric hold, these should feel a lot tougher. No matter how light or heavy the weights are. Three, two, one, and down. Great work. Push-ups next. If you found the last set too difficult, scale it back. It's absolutely fine. Using the bench if you need to, or anything just to get a little bit of leverage so you're not going all the way to the floor. Here we go. Push-ups. 
So we're trying to get the chest down in between the hands, whether we're on the knees or the toes. So a very tough one. Just do your best. Three seconds both ways. And last one. <sighs> Shake off them arms. So the triceps get a double whammy really. It's that push ups straight into the dips. It's a tough one. We work in the same muscle groups. Triceps get it on both. Chest somewhat. On the dips, more so on the push-ups, and same with the shoulders. Right, here we go. So it takes concentration and effort to keep the tempo the same throughout. So try not to switch your mind off. Good work. Power through, guys. You've got 10 seconds left. One more rep. Oh, and shake them off. Really starting to burn now. One more round. That's it. So, get a couple of quick breaths in. 20 seconds. It's not much to recover. Get the towel. Three, two, one. So it's up to you how much effort you put in, but I really want you to squeeze with as much as you can. And pop it down. Last time with these. Let's bring it in. So you're trying to build that mind muscle connection by focusing on exactly what muscle you want to engage. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, and down. So you've just got the two pushing exercises left, that's push-ups and dips. After we're through this, we're gonna stretch off and we're done. Let's get ready, three, two, one, off we go. Remember, if we're on the knees, three seconds down, you're not letting them hips up, hips hit the floor first, chest first. Same on the toes. The last set, guys. Do your best. Three, two, one. One, two, three, three, two, one, one, two, three. So you can count if that makes it easier. Rest it there. Counting's too difficult on either of these, then just as long as you're going slow down and slow, I'm happy. Right, this is it, final movement. We're going in three, two, one, dips. So, so you know it's gonna be burning now. Just do your best to grind it out. This last 40 seconds. Not relaxing at any point. Halfway through. 15 seconds. Get a couple more in. Last one after this. And rest there. Give them arms a shake off. All right. Fantastic, guys. So that's it for the, the bulk of the workout today. We're going to do a little stretch off. There's always these kind of sessions, they're more about getting that muscular development, tiring the muscles out, rather than 
getting the heart rate up really high, like you would in a cardio or interval session. So it doesn't mean it's going to be any easier. You can still get an excellent fat burning effect from doing this style of workout. As your muscles are repairing, that's when they're burning calories. So if you're feeling it tomorrow in the legs, the triceps, the biceps, you know that your body's working harder and you're going to be burning them calories as well as building strength, endurance into them muscles. Right, let's get into a little stretch to finish. Triceps are feeling it particularly. So we'll let's start there. Bring that elbow towards the center of the body and towards the mid back. Hold it for about 10 seconds and then switch. Okay, let's go shoulders next. So we're locking one arm in with the other. Same on the other side. And while we're on the knees, let's lean back and stretch them quads. You should be feeling that all of the thighs from the knee up to the hip. Just lean back as far as you can manage. No right or wrong on this one. Carefully out. Let's stretch the glutes next. So one leg at a time, bring that knee across the body towards the opposite shoulder. And then switch. Same on the other side, we really pull it in tight. You should feel it all around here. Then we'll stand it up. Last two movements. We're going to do a calf stretch while stretching the chest. So make a fist and pull the shoulders back, opening up the chest. Back leg should be nice and straight throughout. And then switch sides, but interlock the fingers. We'll push out. So we're stretching. The back now with the calf. And then carefully out of that. And that does it for Monday's session. So hope you enjoyed it, guys, and you got something out of it. And I hope to see you all again this week. Have a good day, guys.